Could you shuffle the cards for me, mate? Appreciate it. Thank you. So if you, if you, you shuffle, right? Yeah. So if you shuffle the cards, it means there's no pattern in this pack. Right. Because you shuffled it, right? So I'm going to get you now, Andrew, to help with this um, as well. I want you to cut the cards in half for me. Just cut it in half and just leave it there. And just leave it there. Now, do you know why people cut the cards? Do you know why people at Casino cut cards? Yeah, well, it's to break patterns because a cut is random. And you, you can't, like, I can't control where you cut. Free choice. It represents a free choice. It's why the casinos do it because it's genuinely a free choice. So I want you in a moment. I want you to take, take the card there and have a look at the top card. Just have a look at it. Don't show me. Don't show anyone. Just you have a look at it and then put it back in the pack. Okay, good, thank you. No way I saw that. No way any of these people saw it. So, and I'm sorry, it seems like I'm a bloody gambler, but I'm not. But I, I'm obsessed with how people used to cheat and they could do this by reading tells. So you know a card right now. None of us know what it is. I think you might know what it is. Okay, okay, good, okay, good. So we have to work out what your card is. So I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. You can tell the truth or a lie. Okay. But if you lie, Andrew, you'll do something to give it away. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, good, he's a bad liar, you can tell. Um, so, so Andrew, here's the thing. I, is, lie sometimes, make it fun. Okay. Is your, was, was your card a picture card or a number card? Picture. Good, so that's a lie. Because I just tempted him to lie, so he lied immediately. And, and that's true, he's laughing now, so it's true as well. The laughing confirms it. I was just bluffing. So you bluff, you watch the reaction, the reaction gives you the answer. Okay, so now he knows this, I can't use that strategy anymore. So now it's a number. So I want you to count from one to 10 for me. If your card was a five, which it's not, because if it was a five, it would have been like, holy crap, how does he know it's a five? There was no raising of the eyebrows, so it's not a five. But if it was a five, as you get closer to your card, you're going to do something to give it away. Okay? So I want you to read the cards out from ace through to ten. So go ace, two, do it nice and slow. Okay. And I want you to look at everyone while you do this, because it creates more pressure. Okay. And watch, he'll do something to give it away when he gets to his card, and see if you see what I see. So go for it. Ace, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. You may not notice this, but the pace slowed down towards Twice. the end. Six and nine. Good. And oh, you're very good at this. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm, I, I'm not sure yet, but let me, let me see. So it's the pace slows down, which is because pressure increases, and we're trying to make ourselves less obvious by overthinking it and therefore slowing down. So what that means is it's between. You're right. It's between six and ten. So between six and ten, I'm going to ask you this. Just in your head, answer truthfully in your head. Please genuinely do this. Okay. Was your card odd or even, just in your head? Okay, good, so it's odd. So thank you for that. So, yeah, thank you. The raising of the eyebrows gave it away. So good, so it's an odd. Mm -hmm. Odd, so it's either the six, the seven, or the nine. I want you to say yes three times to these questions I'm about to ask. Just say yes regardless of what I ask. Was it a six? Yes. Was it a seven? Yes. What is it? Was it a nine? Yes. Oh, you answered just before I finished, so it was the nine. Nervous again, so it was the nine. So your card was the nine? Was it the nine? Yes, it was. Okay, good, so it was the nine, good. Now, it was the, oh, you got it, well done. So it was the nine, and now I've got to get the suit of the card. Um, can you think of the color? Think of the vibrant okay. color. So if it's vibrant, it has to be red. So then it's got to be a red, I'm going to go nine of uh, hearts. Was it the nine of hearts? Yes. Oh, damn! That's amazing! We should go play poker together. We would be amazing. Yo, that is amazing. But uh, I better go in and get ready. But hey, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. How simple was that trick? I know those of you watching right now, you're thinking, oh my goodness, man, it's so easy what you're doing. I know, but don't discount simplicity as being something that stupid. Simplicity is bloody awesome. And I want you to realize that the trick I did, all it involved was a crisscross force. You all know this as you're watching it. But I hope you can see the power that great showmanship can bring a piece of magic. It can turn a trick into a wonderful, astonishing moment. Look how people gathered around, people were all coming from all, all over the room just to watch a crisscross force being executed. And then everything else was presentation. So I want you to think about this. So if you've got a really complex trick, if you've got something that requires massive, technical, difficult sleight of hand, and then you inject incredible showmanship to that, you now, my friend, have a very, very powerful piece of magic that's gonna blow the brains of everyone.